There have been differing witness accounts about the number of people seen inside a dark coloured Jeep Cherokee, which the police believe was used in the drive-by shooting of road worker George Tairoa. Quinton Winders, who's 45, denies murdering Mr Tairoa, who was gunned down while operating a stop-go sign on a one-lane bridge near Atiamuri, north of Taupo, in 2013. Nine witnesses for the defence have testified today, some via video link about the days leading up to the shooting. Our reporter Carla Penman is at the High Court in Rotorua and joins us now. Busy old day on the witness front, Carla. What were they saying? Yes, certainly. So today, as you heard, there were nine witnesses, um, and some of which had some very varying accounts of what they saw. Uh, we, we heard from a transport operator, for example, who was delivering uh, supplies in the tram road area in the days before the shooting. Now, he says he saw a dark-coloured, deep like vehicle come out from the bushes without its headlights on, even though it was at night time, almost as if it was trying to sneak away sort of thing. Um, and he said that uh, that sort of, it took off in the distance and he lost it around a bend. And there was another two. Uh, there were two other witnesses today who also said that they saw a dark blue jeep, um, Cherokee, acting suspiciously. Um, one of them said that there was a very, very large mouldy man and another person of slim build in the vehicle, while another person said that there was just a mouldy man driving the dark blue jeep. Uh, and we also heard from uh, another, a woman who said that she was stopped by George Tairoa um, at, the, at the, uh, the, the bridge where he was um, working. Uh, and this was only apparently hours before he died, uh, if not even shorter than that. And she said she talked about a lovely conversation she had and then also steered uh, attention towards uh, the bushes too, pointing out a man acting very suspiciously. You've also heard, I hear, in the court, obviously you were there and I weren't, about from two men who have had, and I think one of them described it in these terms, a scary run-in with the accused. Is that the word one of them used, Carla? Yes, it, yes, it certainly was. So there were two men, both friends, both builders from around the area, and this was back in August 2012, so a while, a few, yep. several months before this took place. Now, they admitted to firing uh, one of them, shooting a couple of the goats on the side of the road near Win uh, Mr Winder's property. Now, they took off after that, blaming sort of stupidity at the time for even doing so. But then they said that at their friend's place in Strathmore, Mr Winders turned up, speeding down the driveway and confronted them, swearing at them, yelling at them. And they were just in such shock and they noticed a gun sitting on his lap and, and basically denied it then and there and and hid their gun out of sight so as not to make sure that Mr Winders knew that they'd done that. So, And, and that they also said as well that they'd heard talk of him having a very unpredictable side of his nature and um, just avoiding him. Thanks, Carla. Really appreciate it. Carla Pemman, who's live from the High Court in Rotorua. The trial was originally set down for four weeks. It's now in its fifth week, with closing summaries from the Crown and Defence tomorrow, and then the judge is expected to sum up on Wednesday before the jury go out to deliberate.